Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Tarek Time on Channel 64. It has been a little while since I've done an episode here. Actually, it's a little while since I've even been on the server. Hello there. I have been, well, super busy in real life and also over on my single player series, but a lot of things have happened since the last episode. Um, for one, I did a stream where we did a whole bunch of kind of prettying up of the little apartment build here. So I went through and added in this little custom tree. I kind of did some tweaks to the little poppy field area here. Um, just overall, I, I really tried to finish the area and really make it a whole uh, pretty experience. And you might be wondering what the monstrosity is behind me. That there is a stream project. I've wanted something for a little while that I can kind of putz and work on on streams without feel like I am spoiling an episode. And it, it's a weird content creator thing. It, it just brain. But it, it's it's coming along. The, sh the shapes are done and I have some color palettes figured out. So if you feel like catching me on a, a stream, tune in on the next one. It's going to be here on YouTube coming soon. Uh, unless you're watching this in the future, then it will have happened in the past, but then you can go watch the VOD. But, you know, after this episode, of course. And there is one other piece of important business that needs to be taken care of. Uh, the, 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 before Halloween, I did a little uh, graveyard over in No Water and then asked some people, or you in the comments, if you would like your name put on a gravestone. And unfortunately, uh, uh, much time has passed since then, but I am going to make good on that promise. And here at the graveyard, I am going to start picking out a couple of these little gravestones to put some fancy old names on of those who requested it. Angel Delany, Stowe, Raju Raj Mistry. I'm very sorry if I said that incorrectly, but I'm, I'm trying. Mona Bear, Died, Loving Cats Too Much. Jeppy Holson. Saul Born, George, Hello. don't ask, John Slaymaker, and with that taken care of, I feel a little bit better. Again, I am so sorry for the delays, but uh, yeah, that was a thing, and well, it's done now, and I really hope that some of you who requested that do see that in this video, because I would, uh, I would feel really bad if you didn't, so um, yeah, anyway. Moving on to one other thing that happened in the last episode. I built up a fun little game in the shopping district area here in some water, and it is a rock, paper, a shears. And unfortunately, I've, I really haven't had time to play this with anybody either, so I'm hoping that in, the, in this episode that I can find a worthy contestant and uh, we can battle it out for the World Championship of Rock, Paper, Shears. Above the farming area that is uh, just down here, I've got this little plateau, and I was struggling for a little bit to come up with something to put here, but eh, never fear, I have persevered. So now I have two fancy builds that are going to be going here, and I do want to continue on the kind of theme of, well, it, it, a ranch, is an area typically populated by a whole bunch of people. And those people need places to live. And, well, you also need some other potential shops in such a town, or maybe making tools or horseshoes, huh. that kind of thing. So I've got a shop and I've got some homes to build. And I think that I'm gonna be starting off with the shoppy, which is gonna be this fancy little pile of shulker boxes here. And th this is a fancy build. I really tried to channel my inner Jess, and I did get the stamp of approval, which, tell me, that, that is a badge of honor I will wear. But that means it's also incredibly complex and gonna take a little bit of time. So we're gonna go into a fancy old time lapse. Let's go.
and welcome back from that time lapse i now have a blacksmith equipped with a fantastic little forge and the starts of a working area i i do want to come back in and spruce it up a little bit more but look at this builder i, I love the fact that i've got i've still been able to incorporate my bushes because i love the bushes but I've really kind of tried to go a little bit crazier on this this wall, and I really love how this has turned out. Especially, I really like using these little levers lately as kind of like an angle underneath a, a wall as an additional support. And then I've got this little cubby I'm going to have to do something with, and it's a, a, little, a little detail with the glazed terracotta, like that. But yeah, I'm going to have to putz away and figure out what I'm going to do here for this kind of area. But while I do... I've been told that there is somebody waiting for me at Rock Paper Shears. So they think they can beat me. Mm hmm. Let's go find out who. Rock, um, paper, go, shears. Uh, draw, draw. Okay. Uh, 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 paper. Uh, yes. Wow. Okay. 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 I got one. I got one. Okay. I got two. Uh, two. Two. Uh, no. No. Uh, this this, this is for the win. Maybe for the win. That was a great move. <gasps> yes. <laughs> a clean sweep. Uh, wow. Best two. Best two out of three. That no, was two out of three. Well, oh. <laughs> three out of three. Uh, no IOU for me. Ha ha. Rigged. Can I go home now? And with that silliness concluded and the champion... Dubbed the champion, I, I guess. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I was busy while you were away. Let me show you. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. So, the pathy path has been completed, and I've been adding in a ton of little details around the front of the blacksmith here to kind of show that, you know, the blacksmith has some wares on for sale, some golden armor, a little accent block, a little skull, because, well, why not? And then a little money bag, a little bit of a planter here, I, and of course, a, a fountain, and naturally, a chest monster as well uh, that is steadily growing. And I've actually cleaned some of this up already, but any hoozle, um, lots of little details. Oh, and I added a little bit of a staircase, just kind of going down to the water here as well, just for a little, a little bit of easier access, which I thought was kind of nifty. But as nifty as that is, this area is still very much not complete. And I have another, that's right, another build, big old fantasticness, located eh, currently in these shulker boxes. So I'm going to take it out of these shulker boxes and let's get building in super fast speedy mode.
Are you ready? Are you ready for what I am about to show you? I have been, why, I don't know why I always do this. It's like, hey, the build's done. And then I spend the next four days being just consumed by the need to make everything pretty. Also, check this out. I found a little resource pack, which I'll throw a link down in the description, but look at these little flower. It's a little flower resource pack that changes, not all of them, but some of them. See the flower, flower. It just changes the flowers to be more full on the block. And I love it. Absolutely love it. It just adds a little bit more variation to plant life, which is, you know, all, all told very, very in tune with mother nature, but I am getting, again, just so very distracted. Let me go show you what I've been working on for the last three days. Oh, so very much has changed. So you've seen the blacksmith, but I've added in yet more details to the blacksmith even. There's there's now some little carts kicking around. I've done a couple of small tweaks to the fountain here. Some more carts, a little bench, and then the build. Oh, I'm so very happy with this. Really and truly so very happy with this. I've come through and added even more details after the fact by incorporating a little bit of tuft into the red walls just for some, some additional wear and tear and then dripstone onto the orange one. Just, just that subtle little amount to show that, you know, the, the builds aren't brand new. They're, they're, they're weathered, they're used, they're, they've, they've been around for a little while. And I just love that kind of little rustic, colorful look. It just makes me oh so very happy. What, uh, what what doesn't make me oh so very happy is the fact that um, there, there's no interiors. No interiors whatsoever in either of these builds, unfortunately. Well, uh, yeah, in any of these builds. Um, I don't really need the interior, and they're, they're more to kind of... They're, 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 not, they're not interior houses. They're, they're just not. They're, they're here to set the mood on Sunset Ranch, because... How could you? How can I? How can, you can't be mad here. You can't be. Well, I, I'm a little. I'm a little annoyed with myself that I haven't finished that tree yet. I really need to do that soon in a stream. But oh, so very happy. That was extremely close to my face. I'm so sorry. But overall, I am in love with these builds. I feel like it just really adds a element of completion to this area. Like I'm, I'm being down here in the garden, you're, you're 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 working away in the fields and doing things and. Oh, so good. It's, it's, it's going to be even better when that's done. Things are just going to keep getting better and better and better around here. But with that being said, folks, there is only so much I can do per episode. And this one has taken me, again, longer than I wanted to, but it, it's a good one. I, I'm so happy with how this has turned out. It is. It makes me also oh very happy. And I thank you so very much for sharing your day with me. It truly is appreciated. And until next time, folks, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.